everyone, Eve from British Garden Centres here and happy July. So far we have had very mixed weather this July. We've had sun, we've had rain, we've had thunderstorms. So here are three gardening jobs that you can get out and do in your garden this month, whatever the weather. To get the biggest, best crop of tomatoes, when your plants start to flower, it is time to give them a weekly feed. I've chosen a feed that is high in potash because this is going to give me the best crop of tomatoes, like this one here from Westland. It's really simple to feed any plants. You just need to make sure to read the label on the back of the plant feed that you've chosen. So I'm just going to mix in the plant feed to some water and then I'm going to water each one of my tomato plants. It's best to do this in the morning or evening so you don't scorch any leaves in the hot summer sun. I find the best way to remember to feed my tomato plants is every Friday I do a feed Friday. My foxgloves this year have been absolutely incredible. So to get the same effect next year, it is time to sow some more now, as well as any other biennial plants such as Honesty or Sweet Williams. The best way to do this is get a seed tray and fill it with multi-purpose peat-free compost. Make sure to take any big chunks or bits out of the compost. So I'm going to get my seeds. I've chosen these foxgloves and I just need to tip them out on my hand. They are quite fine, and then I'm going to gently sprinkle them over the compost. I'm going to cover them lightly with some vermiculite, but you can use compost just as easily, and then make sure to firm them down so the seeds have contact with the soil. Make sure to label your seedlings and then finish them off with a good watering. I'm going to place these foxglove seeds somewhere sunny but sheltered outside and then in a few weeks we will get some foxglove seeds germinating. Now is also the perfect time to cut back any early flowering summer perennials, like these delphiniums here that have now gone to seed. So I'm just going to take my secateurs and I'm going to chop them right back down to the ground to promote a second flush of flowers later on in this year. I hope this video inspires you to get out into your outdoor space this month. And it's important to remember that it's not all about getting those gardening jobs done and make sure to take time to sit out and appreciate all the hard work that you've put into your garden. If you'd like to shop any of the products in this video, you can nip into your local British Garden Centre or you can shop online on our website. And for more content like this, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you for watching everyone. See you next time. Bye.